kind of since me in the future three weeks later after my vacation, which is what this vlog is about, my vacation. However, I had a couple of things going on, so I haven't been able to post this yet. I had a little bit of a scare and had to get a biopsy and everything's fine. And now I am suffering a little bit with the heat right now. So we've been having some record-breaking temperatures here with record-breaking heat index. And we're talking about 110, 119. Uh, right now it is 113 feel with the heat index. I was at an event and I had to leave because thank God it was indoors, but I still just don't feel right from this past weekend, which I will explain once I get into the future. But uh, anyway, enjoy my vacation vlog and this vlog will come out uh, in regards to the heat and everything that's been going on later on. So enjoy. <laughs> Hello and good evening. I am especially excited because today is Friday, but I wanted to talk more about my vacation last week to New York City and, um, you know, doing my nostalgia tour. So what did I do next? Yes, I went into the city and I met my friends from junior high. So it was like a reunion of sorts there. Um, but I hadn't seen them since 2019 before the pandemic. So it was really good to see them. And we stayed um, where I grew up. They have a hotel there, which was super nice. I don't know if I mentioned it before. And then we took the ferry, went to Queens and we had Indian food, which I've never really had like a whole meal. It was always like, you know, a taste here, you know, on a cruise ship, something like that. So amazing. And then um, that was it. That wrapped up the night. Freedom Tower. If I can show you the Chrysler building, it looks so tiny compared to the other buildings now. There's Long Island City. Freaking cool. And then the next day was pretty much that whole week was just by myself. It was just doing whatever. Um, I did meet up with a friend here and there, a couple of friends here and there, and it was more spontaneous. So it was kind of like, hey, if you want to hang, let's do it. So I did formulate a plan, but it was loose. It was more like, all right, let's get up and do that. I did have a few things that were specific and that I had to reserve beforehand. So uh, for instance, I went to the Museum of Natural History.
deserve for that. And then um, that night, which was last Monday night, I went to see a Broadway show, The Cottage, with, um, oh my God, I, oh, Eric McCormick from Will and Grace and the guy from Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live, I think his name's Alex, and Laura Bell Bundy, hysterical, loved it. Um, one of the other characters, I think her name, um, her real name is Lily Cooper. I actually saw her entering, this, um, you know, the backstage door or whatever, the back entrance. And I got a picture of her kind of walking away. She did pose for me, but I was fumbling with my camera like an idiot. And she was like, see ya, I gotta go in. But, um, so that was fun. And those two things I did completely by myself, just kind of walked around the city, walked around a little bit where I grew up, um, more in the new section. This is the only part that isn't new in that section. It is a creepy building. And if you grew up there, you know what I'm talking about. anything about Roosevelt Island there the original section was I think they started it in 1975 where they had their first residence in 1975 and then it was basically one two three four buildings and one of the buildings was like the lower income buildings um and they kind of connected on two floors throughout so the fourth and the seventh floor connected um so you could see the hallways um you know, like if you were standing outside or looking at your apartment, you could see who's like walking down the hallway across the way and be like, hey, I thought they were home, you know, stuff like that. Um, and then we actually, not we, me, um, I went, you know, I kind of didn't do that part yet, but I did um, later in the week. So um, I did find one section, which the park was changed but certain things weren't so like there was a sandbox there and there was like these little stepping things and we used to call that like the lava pit so like if you fell off the step you basically died that was oh hey i mean we were gen x we got kicked out of the house every day we we had to be inventive so um back then i was little so of course i always died and my brother just loved absolutely loved that um, cause then I'd stop following him and there was like one section that had like these rocks by the sandbox, which we called the kitty litter box. And I remember I was with my cousin and I scraped my knee and I saw the scar. So I went back to the place where it happened and I felt nothing. So <laughs> I was just kind of like, Hey, there's where I scraped my knee. And then I, what else did I do? And then I came upon this one section where it had like two basketball courts and then like the creepy house that was originally on the island from like the 1800s. Um, the Blackwell house, it was owned by the Blackwell family. It's kind of looks like a colonial house, like that kind of style, but it's creepy. Um, so I'll show that another time. But I found the one spot, talk about total Gen X, inventiveness and New York City. So instead of opening the fire hydrants when it was hot uh, in the summertime on Roosevelt Island, you know, like all over the city, that's what everybody does. They, they probably still do it. We have what was called these sprinklers and they were more for decoration. So they kind of shot out like this. And then there was this like half moon shaped area of the water went into with a drain. And then it was like kind of deep, at, you know, maybe like a foot deep. Um, but it never filled up. So what the older kids would do was like kind of plug it up so that it would fill up. And that was my pool. That was my jam. And we used to have these evergreen trees and that's like where the cool kids used to lay out. So we had to like lay out way over there. You could use a sprinkler, but don't bother them in their section. So that was really fun. And 
I go there and I see the sprinkler and I'm like, oh my God, not only was it still there, it was running and it was coming out of both spouts. And I'm sure that nobody brought like a wrench or anything. And jack these things open like we used to do when we were kids, but it was just like the best thing to see. And it was kind of like, if I had the time, I would have taken my shoes off and like plugged it up somehow and just laid in it. I don't know why it's kind of gross, but <laughs> it had leaves in it. I just, I don't know. I just was like, this is my pool. So that was the highlight of that day.